Hello and welcome back to a new M Weekly. So this is going to be really confusing because my last M Weekly was in Greece and my new M Weekly is in the Caribbean. Yeah, I know, really complicated, but this trip has been booked for literally months and months and months. And it just so happened that we landed from Greece, we then had like literally eight hours to get from Manchester Airport to my house to pack, to Matt's house to pack, to Gatwick to fly, and then we had a flight to Grenada. And here we are, we finally arrived. I hope my makeup is not really weird. I'm very jet lagged, absolutely exhausted, but we are here and we have checked into Sandals Resort. It is absolutely beautiful oh my goodness so i'm gonna give you a quick room tour and then we have dinner so you walk through here it's a little bit dark because it's about 5 p.m and look we've got a full hut and then here's the bed which says one love on it how beautiful i don't want to ruin it then this is like a little area with a tv and the tv is interactive for everything we then have some chocolates as well as a fruit plate and then all the alcohol is included this is the best thing about sandals because it's ultimate all like all inclusive you literally get everything including gin and then i mean i think this might just be the best bit a bathtub with some champagne you also get all of their toiletries that are designed just for their spa which is insane beautiful rain drop shower oh yes how insane is that and then you've got the toilet you've got two gorgeous sinks so i'll have one and then matt can have one we'll have one each and then we open this and we've got the jacuzzi we've got the pool the beautiful sky this is our own little area. How amazing is this? And then we basically have like our own house. So this is literally all ours. Look at it. How amazing is this? So I hope you enjoyed that quick room tour. I will show you more around the room as the week goes on, but I'm so excited. We've got an amazing itinerary here. I stayed at Sandals once in the Bahamas years and years ago, and honestly, we have a butler called Kerry, and he is awesome. He's gone above and beyond, like, just amazing things, like, made sure that everything's organized for us. He even recognized us at the front gate when we pulled in, and, like, just looked after us. Sandals, for me, is, like, the ultimate lu luxury hotel. If you can hear birds in the background, I think there's birds. Um, so I'm going to have a bath and then we are going to go to dinner. We're going to a restaurant tonight called Spices Restaurant. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me... Good morning from Absolute heaven so we had the most amazing dinner last night i can't remember if i said but sandals la sauce is basically like everything is included all inclusive and it's like super super luxury it's not like bad all inclusive it's like you eat at like the best restaurants and stuff every night so last night we started off with spices restaurant oh, it was delicious and the service was so good but we were so exhausted that we just went to bed straight after and we woke up at like 5 a.m it was one of those things where i was like I need to sleep off oh, this jet lag. So we're up bright and early and we're gonna go and explore this morning. I'm so excited for breakfast. Breakfast was absolutely delicious. We are now back at our gorgeous house. So we have like a love nest suite. Literally pinch me. This is the most romantic, lovely place ever. I was saying to Matt, because the butler was like, oh my God, you should propose. I was like, Matt, if you propose to me here on the beach with a candle at dinner, that would be insane. But we're like way too young to get engaged. <laughs> um, but maybe in like five years time. And um, so we're just chilling. The issue I have here is that every time I open my camera, it gets condensed. The condensation because the humidity is so much here is crazy. So I apologize in advance if when you're watching this, the quality isn't the best. 
um, just because I am struggling with condensation. But yeah, we're just gonna chill in our little garden bit for a little bit, have a bit of peace. level of chill right now is the most chill I've ever been in my life. Put this dress on, we're going to have a wander around um, and then we're going to have some lunch. There are so many restaurants to choose from, I just want to eat my way around this resort. You want jet chicken? My jet chicken. You want jet chicken? Yummy. Greek salad for me. What did you go for? Jet chicken. Jet chicken. Oh my god, it's your first ever jet chicken. Oh, did you have jet chicken last night? Did I mention that it also includes room service? So we just got some room service. Ready for dinner. Matt is not ready. I totally lie, we're not ready for dinner. First we are going to the butler's cocktail evening, which is so cute. So they like invite you and then you go for drinks. Um, and apparently we play games, so let's see. And then we're going for dinner straight after. So I'm wearing this dress. A lot of these are repeated from Greece because that is called, I was gonna say economizing, I don't think that's the right word. It's good to rewear clothes. But yeah, I'm wearing this dress, which I love. Oh my goodness, only true M. Shell fans will know the meaning of this for me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Matt, he won. We won, we won the first we prize. We Went to the butler drink, it's like a welcome meeting. And what game is it? Logo guessing. Logo guessing, and we won. They ended up actually disqualifying us. We, went, at the start. Yeah, we, we got about 15 of 20 logos. And they were like, and they okay. the game. They were like yeah, you guys are too good. This is not right. Um, but we won. We won a big bottle of alcohol, Southern Comfort. Um, and everyone was actually really nice. But I was like, River Island, eBay, Sony, Apple, Mini Cooper. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. If my job ever fails, I might just go into that. So we're just wandering around now, having a look at the beach before we had for dinner. Good morning, it is, what day is it? Monday. I did try to take my camera outside to vlog, but the condensation hits the screen as soon as I get outside. Um, so we are going to the gym this morning, finally getting back on that gym hype. I am so excited. Gym done, um, sorry, it's very bright. So yeah, we're heading to check out beach yoga now. I'm at Seven Dungeons. We're also both very sweaty because we did just do a workout. I'm seriously forcing Matt to be fit today. <laughs> Yoga 
done Matt's first ever yoga session and workout done all before 9am. Now we are just about to have some breakfast. I am so hungry. I have earned this breakfast. So we are so relaxed. I keep saying this, but I've not actually had like a holiday holiday where I've been relaxed for a long time. I know that like I go away all the time, but it's usually like working and stuff and ah, I'm feeling so zen. I feel like that exercise this morning is giving me such a happy pill. So I'm wearing my fave caftan. I've worn this so much, but it's like my favorite thing ever. I will link it below. We're now just heading to the beach this afternoon. We had a bit of a dance around the pool because the music is so good and we can hear it from our room. Um, and probably gonna have pizza on the beach. So you know when I said I was next level chill. I hope you can hear me by the way because the wind is very loud. Let's tr test this new camera in wind. Um, we then got brought pizzas by Carry Art, amazing butler, and then he brought us coconuts, fresh coconuts. Are you like it? I was like, you know me so well. I love fresh coconut. I really hope you guys can hear this, but this place is just heaven. I cannot fall it. So we have just been at the beach all day, hence the face, and now we're just in Cafe Paris, which is Sandals, like cake shop. It's amazing. Maybe crafts, milkshakes, everything, and it's all like kitchen all inclusive. So we just got back from the loveliest day, chilling by the beach, like so zen, such a zen day, I know I keep saying that, but like, huh, feeling so relieved, um, got ready for dinner, and then we came back to a very special surprise in our room, so we kind of have like three butlers, because they all do like different shifts, and so far we've met Carrie, who's done a lot for us, Crystal, who we've met once, she was lovely, and then a new guy came today, and he is pretty epic, and wait until I show you what he did for us. So he basically just like organized the bath for us, made us cocktails, the most delicious cocktail ever. He was like, can I get you champagne? It was just like above and beyond. And I feel like everyone's just trying to make Matt propose. Someone on Instagram was like, you're hinting to get him to propose. And I was like, no, no, it's like a personal joke. He's actually not gonna propose. We are so young, but um, it's really funny because I even sent my brother a picture and he was like, oh, I think they think that he's gonna propose. But no, I think a sandals, the idea of sandals is just add love. Like, Everything about it, it's such a romantic couple's resort. It's not like the place, that, it's just a couple's resort. So it's like, oh, it's so cute. Everything is above and beyond. They even put sunglasses on elephants. Towels made into elephants, now that is amazing. So we are gonna go for a wander along the beach now, and then we're gonna go to the Tapanyaki restaurant. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for this. I love Tapanyaki. Tepanyaki was amazing last night. I think I might have a kidney infection though. My um, back is like in agony and I'm like struggling. So I'm hoping that this goes off. I'm gonna drink water and hope I can flush this out. Sorry if this is really loud. We didn't go to the gym this morning, so we're gonna go this afternoon, had a bit of a lie in, and now we're just heading for some lunch. Apparently, there's a special Caribbean restaurant that we have to go to. I haven't vlogged much today, so oh my god, my camera is steaming up. Um, I went for lunch, didn't vlog it because I was so excited to eat. Had pumpkin pie. We've just been in the jacuzzi. I haven't vlogged today because we've literally just chilled. Like it's been the most chill day. I'm so sick of saying the word chill, though. It's so chill. 
Um, I'm so sorry if this camera is like out. But the reason I got my camera and it's now gone is that we popped outside to go in the hot tub before we get ready for dinner. Oh my god, I feel so emotional saying this. And there's a rainbow, and I don't know if you guys know, but my friend Dean passed away um, not that long ago. Um, and yes, there was a rainbow, and I was like, it's definitely him. And then I grabbed my camera, came back, and it's gone. Sneaky. Um, but yeah, like, it's just, it's nice. Reminds me to be a good person. So this is beautiful. Um, also, Dean always said that he loved me and Matt together. Like, he was like, oh, I'm just being really messages, and he was like, you two are perfect for each other, and it's mine and Matt's anniversary today. It's like a present or something for us. Um, so we have the most amazing candlelit dinner by the beach today. I'm so excited, so I need to get ready for that, but yeah. Oh, I feel so emotional after seeing the um, rainbow, but like good emotional, but bad emotional. <laughs> but yeah, ah, I'm gonna get ready for dinner now. So we just sat down for dinner. Literally so beautiful. <laughs> we have a private candlelit dinner by the ocean and it's really dark so I'm kind of sad because it means I can't capture it for you guys properly with like personalised menus, pink champagne which is my favourite, Matt got me a rose um, and it says like congrats on the table as if it's so lovely and so special and um, it's so romantic. I've never done anything like this. Good morning guys, so last night was an absolute dream, so beautiful and so grateful to be able to sit and have dinner like that. Um, I went straight to sleep after I was so tired, I've just been to the gym um, and now I've just showered, I feel amazing um, and then we've just had breakfast brought to our room because we are heading out on a day trip today, I'm so excited. I got this picture in my closet it's gathering dust right now. So we paid for a private tour today from the hotel. We have a driver and we're just like exploring Grenada for a few hours because I don't believe you can be in a place and just sit in a resort the whole time. As beautiful as the resort is and as tempting as it is to do that, we wanted to get out. We've chosen an amazing day because it's quite cloudy today so it's not like we'd have been sunbathing anyway. Um, and we're learning about the history so much as we're driving around. So we are just in the old kind of like it's not even old, it's just like the town area is so beautiful and bright and I love learning about all the communities, like they have such good community spirit here and everything's local and organic and then we are going to test some chocolate rub. And if I close my eyes I can almost hear your song A picture of you A picture of you goodness so we just learned all about how chocolate's made it was amazing and I bought lots of oh, thank, thank you, you. I bought lots of chocolate so they basically taught us like how it's made from like literally directly from the tree and from the plant um, and I love supporting like local businesses so we've got like a bar of cocoa um, and then body butter and everything so I'm really excited I got this picture in my so we are just in a rainforest how amazing Mozzie spray out, spray me, and um, this place is like so beautiful. This is like a real life rainforest. It doesn't look the same no more because the sun has made it pale. I used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago. Hello, meh, 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 meh. Please don't jump on me. So we finally made it to the famous beach. This beach is like one of the top 10 in the world, I wanna say. 
Oh my goodness, I know why. It is so stunning, like the most beautiful beach ever. Like so amazing. A picture of you. Hello and good evening. So today was lovely. We did a tour of Grenada and we were actually meant to do like an island routes tour which is organised by the hotel but it's been cancelled for the last few days just because there's not been like enough people to do it and we managed to see a lot of stuff today in four hours in like our own pace and it meant we could spend time in the places that we loved we fell in love with the beach, we fell in love with the rainforest, everything was just wonderful we feel like you have to get out and explore somewhere, the people here are so nice so we've just been really relaxing. I'm ready for dinner now and we are going to a steakhouse tonight. I'm mainly excited because they have mac and cheese on the menu with lobster. This is what I'm wearing tonight. Also, someone commented on my vlog today and they were like, why do you never do your hair? And I was like, what do you mean never do my hair? Like, I don't know, am I meant to have my hair perfect on every single vlog? I apologise that it's not perfect on every single vlog. I do get blow dries when I'm at home like a few times a week because I'm obsessed. But like also I try not to damage my hair so I, I think it looks quite nice personally. This is my hair. But yeah, what a weird comment to make. Like why don't you do your hair? Like it's just weird. People are just weird. Imagine me going up to someone and being like why do you not do your hair? Like I actually do do my hair. That's a funny thing on, on my vlogs. Like. The vlog she, was she or he or whichever troll it was was talking about. I'd done my hair on that video and just like blow dried it. I didn't realise that I had to fully like style and curl my hair to please my viewers now. So I am sorry if anyone is ever offended by my hair. You cannot win. Also, let's not give these people air. This is Huda, Be Huda Beauty. The I keep talking about it all the time. It's Medusa. I literally love this lip colour so much. Are you ready for steak? So, we thought we were dining in a steak restaurant at the hotel. I hope you can see me. And then our wonderful butler. Oh my gosh, my camera is doing that thing where the condensation's too much, guys. Don't hate me, let me wipe this. This is after leaving it outside for hours because it's like 30 degrees at night. So they came to the door with cocktails and they have organized the most beautiful dinner candlelit by the pool. This is so special with the same menu um, that we were looking forward to tonight. Like this is incredible. How special. We didn't think it could get any better than last night. So if you're coming to Sandals at Grenada, the three people which are which who are exceptional butlers Glendon, Kerry and Antonio. Antonio has been trained up by Glendon and he is amazing. And like even Matt can vouch this, they're all amazing yeah. aren't they? And they're all good because they've all got good crack as well. They're actually all really funny. Yeah. Which they, makes it a they, lot easier. Especially they just, when you spend quite, you've spent time with them. Yeah. Quite nice. Because at first when, I, when they said you've got a butler, I was like, oh my god that's so awkward. Like I don't want, I'd never ask someone to like shy my shoes or pack my suitcase. I just, I wouldn't. Like I just would never, we were both a bit like, oh my gosh. We don't want to use a butler, but it's it's just more like little things like. But like even, even though you don't want them to ask them to do stuff, they'll do the stuff you want them to do anyway. Like yeah. they just they turn up to your room with like cocktails, like snacks. Like we we haven't asked ask them. we haven't asked them to yeah. do anything because I just wouldn't. I just I don't know. I just feel bad asking yeah. someone to do something. But yeah, you'll randomly get like a knock on the door at 4 p.m. and it'll be like Glendon and he'll have some snacks for you. And then they'll knock at your door at 7 with some cocktails and they'll be like, hey, we're taking you for dinner. And then tonight they called and they were like, we're going to be at your door um, in 10 minutes. And we're like, okay. And they came to the door and then have organized this wonderful dinner. Like, I wouldn't really call them butlers. I call them more like special little angels that just make everything perfect. <laughs> or like Kerry, for example, we were sat at the beach and he knew we were sat there and he suddenly comes over with coconuts. Hey guys, I went and got you these coconuts. Oh, and by the way, I know you like pizza, so you've got a pizza coming. They do so much research and it just makes the thing so special. And this is coming from someone that always thought, thought having a butler would be like the most awkward thing ever. They do like a lot of little things like they'll just book out literally the best sunbeds on the beach and the best yeah. ones next to the pool. And they, and put, like, they, they put like water next to them yeah. and with the water and the beer and the cocktails, yeah, coolers of beer. they'll put like love hearts on the bed and it's just so wonderful. It's such tiny little details that make it so special. So big shout out to Kerry, Glendon and Antonio because they have been amazing. We got oysters to start. How a delicious with this gorgeous, gorgeous view.
Good morning, world. Oh my, oh my golly, my dress just flew over. It is a hot day today in paradise. We just had breakfast, I'm very, very full. Big plate of fruit and lots of omelette, minus dress. Although I'm in a bit of a ball gown when it's like 30 something degrees, probably not the best idea. So we're just heading back to our room to totally, totally chill out. Last night was literally a dream. The butler surprised us and that was just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Hello, good evening. I don't even think I vlogged much today. Again, another really chill day that is so poor from me. Oh my gosh, the light changes so much in this camera. So, we've got an exciting night. We are heading to a French restaurant tonight um, called Le Jardinet. Um, because Matt was like, oh my god, it looks amazing, so we're heading there. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile. I just got to the sky. I think I scared him because I think he thought I was taking a picture but I was actually vlogging. So we just had a main course, which means that we can go to a place called Soy afterwards, which is sushi. This is ultimate. It's a word gluttony, I don't know. Someone commented on my coat haul the other day and was like, that's a bit gluttonous, like saying that I'd bought too many coats. But I'm obviously not gonna keep them all. Like I'm not gonna keep 15 coats, or maybe I will. No, I'm not. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go and have some sushi as well. We've deliberately saved ourselves so we can have sushi and go to the chocolate market after. What did you say? Well, I she's one of the best pieces of sushi. Are we coming back here again tomorrow then? Yes. Well, yeah, we are. And now we're going to the chocolate party, and I can see the queue getting longer and longer and longer for the chocolate party. It's a white party as well, a white chocolate party. So it's like chocolate and everything dressed in white. I have a sangria, this is a sake chocolate. Sangria, like a Japanese sangria. But Matt won't let me go and get in the queue because he thinks it should die down. But I don't really think we should get in the queue. gone for all the chocolates, this string, and she even got all these as well. Good morning guys, and happy Friday. I hope I'm in focus. Um, so this vlog was meant to go live on Friday, like all my weekly vlogs do, but we don't actually land in the UK until Sunday. So it's kind of like, okay, I may as well extend the vlog and film the rest of the stuff we're getting up to rather than like cutting it short. So we are just having a lovely walk along the beach this morning. It is very hot, it's 9 a.m. and it is roasting. Also, this is like my favorite top ever. So we had a really nice morning wandering around the beach, taking some pictures and then we had a delicious breakfast thing. A lot of you have tweeted me and told me that you are coming here. This makes me so excited. You guys are going to love it. So I'm going to do a full blog post about this today because so many of you have said you're coming here. I'll tell you like the top tips, the best things to do, the best restaurants, but it's basically epic. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of an insight. But we are just chilling by our pool. It's so beautiful. How could we not chill by here? We're actually catching up on some work. No rest for the wicked. And then the door went knock knock. And it was our amazing butler, Glendon, with <laughs> it's how amazing. It's pizza time. I'm wearing another outfit. How many outfits can one person wear in one vlog?
Literally had the most amazing afternoon in the sea, eating pizzas, chatting to our butlers. Might actually want at a game of table tennis. I beat them all apart from one of them I got to play, but apparently he's played the Commonwealth Games, so yeah, I think he's pretty good. Yeah, so we think he's pretty good, so we're all dressed up now. We have a surprise, the butlers have told us we have to meet them at the Aqua Centre because we have a surprise. And I feel very excited. No, the surprise isn't that Matt's going to propose to me. I feel like everything on this vlog has been like, um, as if Matt's going to propose, but Sandals is just like the place of love. So let's do this. boat trip was amazing um, we are just going for dinner now we're heading for our final dinner there's a beach party tonight and then we're going for sushi because we didn't get to eat there properly the other night my belly is so full Matt's just on the phone to carry our butler it's the last night for us to say goodbye to him so we're gonna go say goodbye to him maybe I'll actually introduce you to him um, we are full up with sushi and we're just gonna head to see what the beach party's about now apparently there's a show oh yeah it starts now so this is Kerry hello everyone actually <laughs> Kerry the butler <laughs> Kerry the butler full name but yeah the best butler at Sandals <laughs> he's, look, he's looked after us so well so if you guys come you have to ask for Kerry the butler thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much Emma thank you Mark. We are back in our room now. We just watched the cutest, not cute, we just watched the loveliest beach, a carnival, which was so fun. The people were so good dancing, they looked amazing. Now I'm gonna have a little bath before bed because look at this. Oh, we might go into the hot tub. Um, we're gonna see Glendon tomorrow, who is our other butler, who you guys haven't actually met yet. Um, I might try and introduce him in another clip. And then we just said bye to Carrie. We're so sad. The butlers here are amazing. All the staff here are amazing. The hotel's been amazing. And it feels like the first like actual proper holiday. So it was just amazing. Such a dream come true. And I'm already looking at coming back next year and bringing my family. So, oh, also we just got the room. And Kerry has left us chocolates. Honestly, Kerry and Glendon are like the most amazing butlers ever. And they have made this so special. So yeah, good night. Hey guys, so it's Saturday and I know I ended this video last night, but we finally found Glendon the butler So I couldn't just introduce Kerry and not introduce this special guy as well. So here he is Glendon the butler! He is literally amazing. So as we said, when you come to Sandals you have to ask for Glendon or Kerry or both of them because they're both amazing. He's done some really special things and he's made it so perfect. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. folder in the world. Oh yeah, he's given us like special towels all around the room and stuff, so yes, we just wanted to introduce you to him. Oh yeah? Thank you so much. I don't want to make a special appeal to the world out there. <laughs> if you want a good holiday, you have to come to Grenada. Yeah. And if you want the best holiday, you have to make it sandals. Yeah. You make it blend in a curry, top class, but any one of the other butlers will deliver as well. So we want to welcome you home to Grenada. So bye guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.